this. Listen, I'm going to talk about, you have a quiz tomorrow. Tomorrow being Thursday. Thursday is today the 10th. It'll be the 11th. It will be a pretty simple quiz, straightforward. It will be a daily grade. It's not going to be a test grade, but you need to be ready for it. So here's what's going to be on the quiz. Real quick, we're not going to add any new material today. We're just going to kind of review. Um, but on your quiz, starting at the very first page I gave you, um, if you look at it, the three ways that bacteria obtain energy, you need to know the three ways bacteria obtain energy. Okay, It's right there in your notes. Uh, so there's three different ways. They can feed off dead organisms or even a living host. They can convert chemical or chemicals into energy. They can convert light into energy. So there's three ways. Remember, you need to remember those that are in your notes. You need to know aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria. You need to know that. The difference between the two. What are they? You need to know the three uh, different types of locomotion or how bacteria move. What are the three methods that bacteria use to move? Remember, they can spiral or spin. They can use a flagellum. They also can use the, uh, the pili uh, to push off or grapple, like grappling hooks. And then you need to know the definition of fission and conjugation. Fission is simply cell division, which is how most bacteria reproduce through cell division. Conjugation is two bacteria come together and share genetic material, okay? Two bacteria come together and share genetic material. That's conjugation, okay? Let's look at the other page. There's another page I gave you. Uh, I told you the definition for bacteria. There were three things I was looking for in the definition of bacteria. They're unicellular, right? What's some of the other things I told you? There are two other ones. They are what type of cells? Joe, um, they're prokaryotes and they're Okay, so they're unicellular prokaryotes. What does prokaryote mean? They do not have a... Nucleus, so prokaryotic, no nucleus. They have no membrane encased organelles. Those are the three facts about bacteria you need to know. Okay, so let's keep trucking. We're, we're there. The six places where you can find bacteria you need to know from your test, or not test, but quiz. The six places that, that you can find them. Remember, there's some weird places in a living host, on a living host, in living uh, or dead uh, organic material. Um, in glaciers air. in the air, the bottom of the ocean, right? Places you never really thought about. So those six places uh, where you can find bacteria. And then the three different shapes of bacteria. Remember there was spherical or round. There was rod, um, spiral, rod, spiral or rod shape. Yeah, rod, spherical, um, spiral. The three shapes, okay? Now, the, the stuff from yesterday, all of you got the answers, correct? We went over it together as a class. Amen? Amen. Amen. You got all of them. The stuff went through with, with it, with you. Okay. All right. Let's take a time out. That's why we're doing this. Look at the one where uh, bacteria, what are bacteria part three? The notes page, what are bacteria part three? Okay. What are bacteria part three? It's, it's, if you're looking at page numbers, it's 68. Okay. Oh. And it starts with the sequence, the formation of an endospore. Now, an endospore forms when, when conditions get really rough, okay? When conditions get really rough. When things are bad, um, and when we say unfavorable conditions, you're talking about a drought, high heat, extreme conditions, okay? When things start to die, bacteria will survive it by forming an endospore. Now, let's go through the sequence and make sure you got it. Number one, bacteria in the first blank is favorable conditions form without endospores. Okay? So they don't need them. So they don't form them in favorable conditions. Number two, conditions become unfavorable and an endospore forms around DNA. So when conditions become unfavorable, uh, an endospore forms around the DNA to protect it. Number three, the cell dissolves, but the protected DNA can survive. Okay? So the cell dissolves, 
but the protected DNA survives. That genetic material that makes it what it is will survive. Okay? Then you had to compare and contrast the uh, difference between bacteria and archaea. Okay? Similarity, number one, they're prokaryotes. Number two, they have a cell wall. Number three, they have no nucleus. Number four, no membrane-bound organelles. This is all stuff we talked about. Number five, DNA in singular, circular strand. Very simple. You can also call it a chromosome. Yes, ma'am. Do they have to be in that order? No, as long as you got it. Here's the differences. Ribosomes of archaea more closely resemble the ribosomes of eukaryotes. Eukaryotes are more advanced, right? Eukaryotes have nuclei, okay? The ribosomes of archaea more closely resemble the ribosomes of eukaryotes. Number two, archaea contain unique molecules in plasma membranes. Number three, archaea often live in extreme environments. For your quiz, just know the sequence at the top. Everybody got it? one under the sequence differences sorry archaea contain unique molecules in plasma membranes let's go to the next page we're on bacteria in nature it's got the digestion decomposition oxygen fixation bioremediation Production of food. A little chart. Okay. On the chart, the only three that you have to know for the quiz, let me give them to you. Digestion, decomposition, and production of food. Digestion, decomposition, production of food. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me give it to you. Bacteria are used in the production of, here's some foods you, you might want to put down. Yogurt, cheese, buttermilk, vinegar, and soy sauce. And chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Three ways that bacteria pathogens enter the body. you got to know all three of them. They can enter the body through the air, through food, or through a cut. Okay? Everybody understand what I just said? Yes. Okay. Air, food, and cut. Yep. I put an open wound. That's the same thing. The same thing. All right. Go to the next page, Bacteria in Nature, Part 2. This is the last one we're going to cover today. Here's what's going to be on your quiz. Two ways bacteria can cause disease. Number one, by damaging tissue. Number two, by releasing toxins. You need to know both of those. Damaging tissues, releasing toxins. Okay? Now, you need to know the sequence in which uh, resistance is formed. Okay? All resistance means is bacteria will change and adapt to survive antibiotics. At one time, antibiotics would have been more effective, but now bacteria become more and more resistant to antibiotics. And so that's why doctors are reluctant to just give antibiotics out unless they know it's bacterial. Okay? If it's viral, they don't want to give you a uh, something to kill a bacteria because it could cause more um, antibiotic-resistant bacteria to form even in your body. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Bacteria can mutate and change. Right? We talked about mutations. They can change and adapt and become more resistant to uh, antibiotics, okay? So here's your sequence. Let's make sure you got it. Number one, antibiotic is added to a colony of bacteria. It kills most bacteria, but a few cells have mutations that enable them to survive. Everybody good so far? Antibiotic is added to a colony of bacteria. It kills most bacteria, but a few cells have mutations that enable them to survive. Number two, resistant bacteria survive and reproduce. 
So the resistant bacteria produce offspring locked in cells that are also resistant to the bacteria. This is where it gets scary. Number three, more of the same antibiotic is added to that colony, or to the colony. Number four, antibiotic now affects a smaller percentage of the colony. Surviving bacteria continues to reproduce. I get the sequence how it's working? So it gets tougher and tougher to kill it. Because the new offspring has the mutation and is resistant. Okay? That's all that you need to know for your quiz, what I just went over with you. Everybody got it? Okay.